and you guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a great day today today's video is going to be a grocery haul day slash day in the life i'm currently at publix and i'm picking up some groceries i have been shopping on a weekly basis i have found that shopping weekly recently i'm throwing out way way less amount of food so that is definitely working for us i'm buying the things that we definitely need especially with the kids being a little picky right now so definitely some fresh fruit and also some vegetables i'm going to give you guys a quick look at some of the items pomegranate which i'm absolutely loving and the kids are loving the cuties also, I had no idea what to make for dinner, so I did end up picking up one of Publix meal plans. These are 100% free, but I'm going to go ahead and figure out what else I need to pick up for the week and continue my shopping. I just found is the passion fruit cherry and also the dragon fruit mango if you guys remember I did my um, what is it Starbucks I'm, I'm so excited to try this to see if it tastes as good as the one at Starbucks so this is everything that I have so far and I have these items here I just wanted to kind of show you guys really quickly. I did pick up some chicken sausage because that's how much my little one really loved my meal from Hello Fresh. I'm gonna be making the meal again. So I purchased my zucchini and I also have this one here, which is the pizza crust. If you guys are familiar, I've actually used this before to do my um, seafood pizza. So I'm gonna make this again sometime this week. And my zucchini is somewhere here. Oh, it's right here. Hey, how are you? That was my zucchini, you guys. Okay. So now that I'm done with the groceries, I am loading the car up and I cannot express how much I love my car. If you guys are wondering, I have the Honda CRV. It is a 2018 edition. This car is absolutely amazing. I did get the car mats to protect everything in the car. And I love the fact that one, I can fit everything in my trunk and then for the bigger items, I can just lay my seats down. Yes, I absolutely miss my Honda Cross Tour, but the CRV is definitely easing a little bit of that pain. It's definitely not one of the luxury cars that you see on everyone's social media, but I absolutely love my Honda. Now that I'm back home, the first thing I'm going to do is pretty much just kind of straighten up the fridge a little bit and start putting everything away. I had a pretty long day, pretty long week, and I have a pretty long upcoming week. So I'm not trying to make everything super perfect. I just want to get things in the fridge. That way the family can access everything with ease. Here's the fridge, you guys. I didn't get like a whole bunch of stuff. I got enough to kind of hold us about two weeks or so. In the cook with me that I did, some of you guys mentioned the portions seem small. Just a quick heads up. I actually had more of that flatbread left and the cheese and stuff. And yesterday I made the remaining of the zucchini. The family pack actually came with two. So in each pack there was two of the flatbread. I only made one. That was enough for us. Now, of course, if your family's bigger, then you're going to require it to make everything that comes into the box. But when I say, like, we had leftovers, like, we had leftovers. It really depends on your family and the portions that you guys take. I think it was on the grocery store I mentioned to you guys. So, I got the uh, chicken sausage to make it again. I actually ended up paying <laughs> a lot more. I had her ring that up first. And then I minus the price from the Publix meal. So, the Publix meal itself came to just about... 60 and then the pizza that I purchased to make again for tomorrow's dinner ended up sorry um, The pizza I think was just about $45 So even with the box that you get it's still cheaper than me buying everything separately Which is a really great thing of the meals coming to your door So just wanted to go ahead and just show you guys really quickly. This is the um, <laughs> Zucchini for the pizza, got some grapes. I did not wash everything. I'm tired, y'all. I didn't feel like doing much of nothing. I am gonna, um, as I give it to the kids, I'll just clean up everything. And these are the, the stuff that I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. 
but that's pretty much about it all right so you guys all right so i have the fresh cut strawberries i have the salad the wasabi and this right here is the almonds that i actually blended myself the steak is cooking this right here is for the pound cake which is going to be for dessert oh god you guys and then i have the grilled strawberries here that's going to get blended in order to do the lemon vinaigrette strawberry vinaigrette with the grilled strawberries that's been blended in order to do the dressing and like i said the steak i'm doing on top of here it's so good if you guys were wondering i bought one pack of steak in that one pack of steak there was two cuts and what i did was i took those two cuts and i filleted them which created thinner steak fillets and then i pretty much grilled it in my pan and now i am slicing everything in order for it to go on top of the salad if you guys were wondering the knife that i am using is the Cafalon self sharpening knives which i absolutely love I will be leaving the link down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is the pomegranate. Now, I find that buying the pomegranate as is, is a whole lot cheaper than buying it in the cup. The funny thing is, I can buy it, go ahead and peel everything, get every single one of the seeds out, put it in the cup. And I can pretty much have it in the fridge for about four days. And during the course of the four days, I'll kind of go back and forth and kind of nibble here and there on it and things of that nature from having water, like put it in there. But for some particular reason, when I buy the pre-made cups, it seems like the day that I buy them, the next day they have like a little fogginess to them. I'm not really sure I would recommend to purchase the pre-prepped cups. I find this works a little bit better, but whatever you use when you are doing this, you want to clean it right away because the pomegranate releases the red juice and it has a really, really deep dye that will stain your clothes, that will stain the countertops. So this is definitely something that you're going to need to have some sort of trait underneath, especially if you're dealing with a light color countertop. You want to clean it right away so it doesn't stain that. It's dessert time. So the recipe calls for grilled pound cake. So pretty much all you had to do was get one of the little Sara Lee pound cakes, slice them up about an inch, inch and a half thick, and then you would just grill it over the stove and then you would drizzle on your strawberry and some Cool Whip and that was pretty much it. <laughs> Strawberries. You like strawberries. So here's the salad here, and there goes the steak. Okay. And that was just two pieces Shut that mine. I sliced. Shoot yours. <laughs> this is my nasty salad. And here is the dessert, but whipped cream has to go on top of that and a little bit of strawberry drizzle. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Alright, so everyone is pretty much done. <laughs> Except for this one here. You gonna eat your vegetables before you get dessert. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. And then um this right here was the pound cake uh you know, grilled. I have not had one. I'm about to fix mine now. So you guys are gonna see how I fix that. A little bit of why do you say you want water? Yeah, if you don't mind a cup of water. Eat your meat, Bobby, so you can get some dessert. Mm mm. I was waiting for you. I'm you said what? I did not give you too much meat. You gotta eat so that way you, later on tonight you're not hungry while everybody else is trying to be in the bed. You're gonna be like, I'm so hungry. Ooh, eat him. There it goes. 
You gotta eat the rest of the food. Mmm. Get the strawberry. Get the strawberry. Get the strawberry. Mmm. Mmm. Hey. Eat your food. Mmm. And then you, I'll fix you those two for yourself. Three. Three. Two. Three. <laughs> you guys, this entire meal was approximately like 60 bucks. And it's a, it's a bit much for one meal, but in comparison to what we would have paid at a restaurant. Right? That was good. Yeah. Good. All the meat, meat's good. Everything was good. Yeah. Okay, well somebody just got done with their food and they're making, I'm guessing, a strawberry sandwich. Oh, you making? Put it on the plate. Put it on the plate. You trying to make them jealous? Like you teasing them with all your dessert, boy. You take it, huh? I said, Latoya, if you're watching our video, you could take it. <laughs> you got a challenge. Um. Anyway, you guys, y'all have a really good one. As you can tell, I'm sleeping. I'm gonna go ahead and get in the bed and take a shower and go to bed. Y'all have a really great day and I'll see you next time. And I'll do my best to leave this down below, but just in case if I forget or whatever, it is steak, salad, and strawberry vinaigrette. They have a whole lot more recipes and they are free, like I said. So you can always purchase like a little small binder if you don't want the apron or you can get this here, which this is not my first time actually making this. I've actually used it before for like salmon recipes and things. Um, we're not eating as much meat as we normally do. So that's that. Anyway, you guys have a really good one.